Let's go, Arx Final Evolved TBF Gaming, jumping back into our Age of Born playthrough. Excited to get going today. We've got a couple things we're working on today. We're finally ready to do the next Alpha Reaper evolution into the other Tribute Reaper. We're going to work on that. We're also going to go out and fight the Karkonos creature, which is actually not a Karkonos. It's the name of the Broodmother War Chief. We're going to fight that one, and then we're going to hopefully get our own Celestial Broodmother if we have all the supplies for it. But that's the general idea today. We're getting quite a bit done. We're getting really close to the end of the series. We did finally suit up, though. We got ourselves the super amazing War Chief. Is that the, the War Chief stuff, right? Yeah, we've got the War Chief helmet, War Chief chest piece, leggings, gauntlets, and the boots. So we got all of that. I was wearing some of the other stuff, some of the Warden stuff, but we switched to all War Chief. So we are in the really cool tech stuff. So now we can fly. We got all those kind of things. Definitely a very, very cool looking. I like the I like the red. We'll have to see if we can paint it, but I, I think I like the red and the white together. It actually looks pretty good. But we got a couple of things that we're going to try and get done today. I hope you guys enjoy it. Like I said, last couple episodes of Age of Reborn. This coming week, we'll be starting on a new mod pack. I didn't have a video Saturday because we had a big event on Friday and we just couldn't get a recording done. So this will be Sunday's video and then we should have a Monday, Tuesday video for this series. And then that will probably be the end of this series. And then Friday, we'll move on to the next art series if we can. So that's the general idea. We'll have to see what's up, but I really do appreciate all support. Thank you so much for joining us on this long adventure it's been a lot of fun hopefully we can finish it out with a bang we still have to do the celestial broodmother we still have to do the rex evolution from alpha t-rex up to let me see from alpha t-rex up to legendary alpha rex we'll do that evolution and then we will take on the big bad world boss so those are the things that we've got to get done still i don't know if we have to defeat the world boss before the legendary, or if we do the legendary, then the world boss. But we'll figure all that out. But all right, let's go ahead and do the fight. I've already got our guys set up over here, so we can run over here and do this battle really quick. Let's go like this. Here, let's go like that. Come on. There we go. I always like flying like that so you can kind of see what's up. But I really do appreciate all the support, guys. It's been, it's been a fun series. It's kind of hard doing a long, long series like this because I know the attention kind of wanes. And towards the end, you're not getting as many views. But I, I, I like to finish the series out as best I can. There's been a few series on the channel that we weren't able to finish. But for the most part, we try to make sure that we always finish these up. I do have a couple other series still going on the side. Of course, Seven Days to Die. And then Sons of the Forest... I'm going to have to take a break on until we get to our new PC. This old PC is just it's struggling a little bit running it, and we've been having a few issues. But we'll try to still finish it out, but it's been it's been a little harder. But we're going to go right over here. We'll do the Karkinos battle right here. Take our little Rex team in. Should be able to get it done pretty quick. Is this Rexit Ralph here? We'll jump on Rexit Ralph. I also lost four Rexes. Like, not lost as in died. Lost as in I can't find them. And they had trackers on them. So that means they're probably balled up in a box somewhere. All right, let's go ahead and do this one. Now, we did, like I said, we did already make this. It is just one of the War Chief things. So, War Chief. These are the different War Chiefs that you have to defeat in order to get your own Celestials. And we're doing the Karkinos one. Super expensive. 10,000 Black Furl, 5,000 Element, 5,000 Steel, 30 Warden Element and Trophy. And then, of course, the 20 Broodmother Trophies. Most of that was pretty easy to get. The Warden Element and Trophy you just get from defeating Wardens. Super easy. And then the Element... And the Black Pearl is getting made passively in our Soul Station. So it was actually really easy to get this stuff done. But let's go ahead. Let's get this thing done. The final battle. Let's do it. Karkinos. Boom. See this giant. Oh, good. We did it right on our head. Okay. That wasn't supposed to happen, but that's okay. Can we get turned around, please? There you go. Everybody get in there. Go ahead and do the thing. Stun him. And then let's start wrecking his face. We should be able to go through this pretty quickly. There's going to be a lot of death messages. All right, I am going to go ahead and get rid of the damage numbers. Hopefully no one dies. I can't really tell if they do. And then I can bring this back to look at his health. There we go. All right, there you go. Yeah, we're melting through this guy. Yeah, the Rex team is pretty incredible. We got this Rex team all to these giant, amazing levels. It makes these battles not too bad at all. But the leg the actual world boss, that Rex would wreck our face. There we go, 80 million already. Good job, guys. There we go, finish this one out. Go 70 million, and I'm gonna bring back the damage numbers when we get down to about 10 million. It might give us a little bit of lag. Let's hurry and do there. You go, boom. We got the Slither Spawner, Slither Core, and the War Chief Sword. That's the last War Chief piece that we needed. All right, let's go ahead and pick up all the stuff, make sure we have everything. Don't leave anybody behind this time. Last time I left a couple Rexes out there, I still don't know where. All right, got all those? We got quite a bit of stuff out of that. Let me just see. Oh, we actually got a unique War Chief sword. I've been carrying one around with us. This one is a, what is this one, 100 damage? This one is 452. Let's go with that one. All right, 
Let's see how much damage this bad boy does. So this is the... Oh, look at that thing. That thing's awesome looking. Look at that. Yeah, we're going to try this out. This should be cool. Boom. 100... Whoa! I'm doing 138,000 damage on foot. This is kind of incredible. We have our melee pumped way up. We've got good armor. All those things kind of give us a little bit of a buff. <laughs> this is insane. All right. Boom. That's insane. Okay, isn't there like another attack on there? No? Right click. C button. Control. Yeah, control. Control does the same thing. Okay. That is so good, man. I can't believe how much damage it's doing. I've never done this much damage with my player character. 138. Insane. All right, let's go back to the base and let's see if we can make the Celestial. If not, we'll go ahead and work on the Reaper Evolution. This will be our last Reaper Evolution. We've done every other Reaper Evolution. The only evolution out there that I haven't done yet is the Dinopithecus. I have tried like 10 to 20 times to tame a Dinopithecus so we could do the Alpha Dinopithecus Evolution, but it just hasn't worked. We've been having big time trouble with it because the Alpha Dinopithecus is a full-on pain in the butt to go ahead and tame. So we haven't had, we just haven't been able to do it yet. All right, go, go, go. Come on. Hold on, this is why I don't play in third person. We struggle. There we go. All right, up here. And let's see if we can make this. All right, we've got Spawner, Celestial, and we're working now on Silitha, I think is what, it's, what it is. S-I-L. All right, we've got the stuff for the core. Make the core. And then the actual Spawner, I think I need a saddle. I need a Broodmother Saddle, and we need four more Spider Essence, which I should have. So now just the saddle, right? Yep. Did I get a Broodmother Saddle out of this? I did, but it's got way too good armor. Let's make this little puny one. All right. And now Slither times one. There you go. We got it. And we got the really good saddle over here, so we're going to be good to go. This guy will be able to do some pretty good damage, and he'll be able to have a really good saddle so they can take on something big. But yeah, the Celestials have been a lot of fun. The Celestials in this mod are awesome because you have the, the Raphis Dodorex, we've got the Dodo Wyvern, the Dragon, the Megapithecus, and then you've got the Manticore. And now the last one is the Broodmother. There you go. Consume. Boom. There you go. Level 750, Slith of the Celestial Spider. Throw a saddle in this guy. 750. So good. All right. Let's go test it out. How fast are you in water? Can I can I make it across the water quick enough, or would it be a disaster? Uh, we can do it. It just take just a second. He actually actually he can swim. Cool. It's a spider that can kind of swim. R button should be the crazy damage, right? That kills everything in the area. Oh no, that's minions. Okay. T button. Q. Okay, not Q. C. Uh, that did something crazy. X button. There you go. X button does some craziness. All right, I need the minions up here. Come on, guys. You guys go attack something. There you go. Hopefully they don't disappear before they get to them. I just need to see how much damage they do just to get an idea. Yeah, they got 27 seconds left. Let's go. Come on. Get up on land. Keep going. They are very slow on land. They're much faster in the water. Ten minutes later. Come on, you guys can do this. Oh my god. I don't know if that was an accurate representation or not. That was a lot of damage. Hold on, let's do this again. Oh, was it R button? Okay, and then attack. Yeah, that guy did a, a million damage. Let's see. 1.4 million, wow. So the spiders have like the strongest minions so far. Hold on. That guy's going to come attack you. Go get him. There you go. Everyone get in there. If they can get to him. There you go. <laughs> Very cool. All right. So us starting off, we're doing 90,000 damage. Definitely not bad. We need to try these spiders on something a little bit bigger. Unfortunately, they don't have a lot of health, so they'll die pretty quickly. But they're at least strong enough to do some pretty good damage. All right. Right click. Right click does some awesome stuff. All right. C button. C button throws bombs everywhere. And X button. There you go. <laughs> Wreck everybody. Alright, so X is the big kind of area of effect. Just kill everything in sight. 
That's awesome. Way too awesome. We need to figure out like where the overspawn areas are. I haven't really seen too many on this map this time. A lot of times there are, but it hasn't been that bad. We'll run through the swamp one time. There you go. <laughs> All right, we need to pump some levels. How many have we got? We already got 200. Let's go up to Danger Island. We'll go up on top of there so we can take out some bigger things and get maxed out. We could use a max out potion, but we'll go ahead and earn it on this one. At least for the first few levels. All right. Oh, okay. Bringing minions in right away. There you go. All right, let's go eat everybody in sight. Oh, what is this? Oh, a tech rex. I don't know if I fought you yet. Let's put quite a few points in there and then the rest in the melee. Okay, while we were pumping levels, the world boss spawned in right there. That's kind of insane. I don't know if we're going to make this guy mad if I do the attack here. Let's find out. Please don't make the world boss mad. If we do, he might come wreck the day. Okay, can I fight this guy or no? Uh, yes, we can. Okay, cool. I wasn't sure if we can actually hit him. Okay, should we get our guys in? There you go. Go get him. Attack! Get him before he gets you. They're gonna die pretty quick, but... Dang. I was hoping he'd get a few more shots in. Alright, 7 million. No, we're gonna wipe this guy out. There we go. There we go. Uh, did we get the credit for it? I don't actually know if we did. It's pretty good, though. We're doing pretty good. I, and we got, I think, the rest of the levels already. That might be maxed. We're fully maxed out on health and melee. I just wanted to get away from the world boss so we don't accidentally aggro it. Let me go and do a quick double check here. I think we're at 153 million health. We're 251 points into melee. So we're doing great melee-wise. Let's see what our melee numbers are. 1.2 million on the melee. And then, of course, if we do the X button, it just takes out everything in the area. With some crazy numbers. All right, let's try, let's try some right click. Right click. Just explosions everywhere. Pretty good damage though. That was actually really good, 140,000. Don't get killed by him. Okay. I was kind of worried he was gonna hit me off my mount. All right, finish eating all those guys. There we go. Definitely not bad. Of course today is like Reaper, uh, Griffin day, insane. Very cool, man. Very cool. And then we can go back and do the Reaper evolution here in a minute. I want to kind of split time between these two guys. But yeah, this one's definitely pretty good. Oh, I need to actually fight this guy. I'm going to need some more of this stuff. How would you do against this guy? El Diablo. Uh, so far, nothing. Let's go C button. R button. There you go. Get him, guys. Get him. Come on. No, no, no. I need you guys to not get eaten that quickly. Come on. There we go. Yeah, they're all they're all frozen. Otherwise, they'd be helping out. All right. This will take just a couple minutes. We'll get this guy eaten. There we go. Finish up this guy real quick. It took a couple minutes, but the C button is definitely the one we need to be using to wipe that guy out. We need a bunch of ward and stuff anyway, so that's good. All right, yeah, definitely not bad. There's a couple of random floating bodies. All right, let's get rid of these guys. Definitely not bad. What do we got over here? Who we got? We got... Oh, another El Diablo. Let's do it. We're going to fight him again. There we go. Another one done. And we're getting really good saddle unlocks from that. That's what we need to do. Very, very cool. All right, we'll take out a couple more guys, and then we're going to head back to base. Go ahead and do the Reaper Evolution. Okay, everybody in this area, I think so. I think everything is dead. If not, it's very close. There we go. Just dead bodies everywhere. All right, let's go back up to the thing. And I think we have everything for the Reaper Evolution, although I do need to make a Alpha Reaper DNA, I think, is the last thing that we need. So let's go try that. There you go. Bring you over here, and we'll drop off all the things. For some reason, when I teleport, he automatically spawns in all his minions. I'm not really sure why. Not a big deal, just kind of curious. All right. Got a couple good saddles in there. Just lots of good stuff in there. All right. All the other stuff. And... Don't think we can buy you up, can we? We cannot. Okay. 
Make sure you are not on follow. And let's see. Oh, you know what? Actually, they're outside. Let's go up here. And let's go up here and see if they're ready. Hopefully, we have everything. Oh, we're not going to have everything. We need the Reaper DNA. So let's go like this. Times one. Yep, just for Alpha Reaper DNA that we can make this. Let's go. All right. Fall down here. And hopefully we can make it. I don't know. I know it's pretty expensive, but I don't know what all we need. Let's go Reaper. Reaper. Out. DNA. Which one is it? This one. We need for this one. Uh, oh, no. All the gems. Oh, we have it. There you go. Okay. Cool. I didn't expect to be able to have it. So we had all the gems. I know we have a couple of bulb dogs, feather lights, and glow tails making gems for us, but I didn't know we had enough. That's so good. All right. Uh, I don't think you keep your levels. We will pump them real quick just in case. Just so you have a few extra. And then we'll go ahead and throw that on. And come on. And then this here times one. There we go. All right, final Alpha Reaper evolution. So now we're going from the Alpha Reaper to the Ryan's Dodo Reaper King. Hopefully this one's as epic as I'm hoping. Let's go ahead and take a good look at it. There you go. Final Reaper evolution. So we'll have the Alpha Reaper and we'll have the true Tribute Reapers up here looking pretty good. I do like that red and black on the actual Psycho Reaper. This one will be the Ryan's Reaper. We'll kind of see. I assume they're about to be the same damage-wise. I'm more just curious what he looks like because I'm not sure what it looks like. All right, is it going? There it goes. All right, here we go. Evo time, going from Alpha Reaper to Ryan's Dodo Reaper King. There you go. Should be awesome. So I might have like a Dodo Reaper head. Looking pretty good. Okay, back up a little. That's pretty cool. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he got picked up. So he must have came out a baby. And look, he looked kind of golden. Also, I've noticed with these guys, every time I throw them out, they tend to change colors several times. All right, let's go ahead and grab you. Come on. Oh, hold on. We got lag. There we go. All right, Reaper. Uh, Ryan's Dodo Reaper. Let's see what he looks like. And I have him printing kibble already. All right, throw you right here. No, I, I think it's... No, I was going to say it's full grown, but it's not actually. So let's do kibble. Kibble. There you go. All right. Oh, it definitely changed color once it was done. The Ryan's Dota Reaper 1297. I'm not actually sure. All right, let's go... Let's go test this out. So he should be fully grown now. Reaper Ryan's. There we go. All right, let's take a look at this guy. Should be similar to the other one. Oh, he actually looks way better. Got that Dota Reaper face. Nice. Left click, right click. Okay, they went behind me. That's fine. C button, X button, and control. I should have taken a picture of that. That was cool looking. Hold on one more time. X button. There you go. I got a couple screenshots of that. Does he hit anything? That'd be cool if I started hitting a bunch of fish. All right, let's go take out a few things. So we can't go to the center island because that's all danger. Let's go over here to this one. But not too bad. Uh, we're going to end it kind of quickly today. I mean, I'm going to level this guy up, but we'll probably end a little bit early today. Probably about that 25-minute mark. Definitely a little shorter than usual. But, yeah, let's see what our initial damage is, and then we'll go around leveling this guy up. Okay, 298. I, don't, I think that's just normal. All right, here we go. Test these guys be a little bit better. There you go. Zomdodos everywhere. Nice. Yeah, 367 is definitely not bad. There we go. Gotcha. All right, we've already got 150 levels. All right, let's do some testing of the other buttons. So we did the C button. That one does the spin, and it seems to do an explosion when we do it too. So the spin, that one definitely does 300,000. Very nice. All right, let's try some of these other ones. All right, X button. X button's pretty cool, but I have yet to hit it because it shoots so high. If we go like this. 
There we go. Alright. Completely missed. No, there we go. 400,000. It just took a second. <laughs> Very cool. Alright, let's see how many levels we got. Let's go ahead and do an extreme potion on this guy. Alright, it took a minute to get everything pumped up. Let's go ahead and check out where our health is at. We're at 269 million health. We're maxed out on melee. Let's check out our melee. Melee now, we're doing 4.6 million. He might might be our strongest solo shot guy. I don't know, that's a lot of damage. Oh, we missed completely. <laughs> Here we go. Man, I don't even know. This guy is, I uh, might have pumped speed a little too much. Hopefully I don't break the server. I think I'm the only one on right now, so it's safe, but there's a good chance I'm gonna break it. Oh, good. All right, we got X button. We do. Let's see if I can get this to work. There we go. We're doing pretty good damage even to this guy, but I think he's... Is he one of the ones that can kill me off the mount? I think he... Alright, final 10 million. Let's go ahead and finish this guy off. The Robo Gorilla going down. If I can get to him. 5 million. There we go. Very cool. Robo Gorilla defeated again. Hopefully got some good drops out of it. Not too bad. Alright, uh, let's, let's go ahead and... Oh, man, how much time do we have left? We don't have a lot of time left. I want to finish testing this guy out. We're trying to control... Not sure what it did. Didn't seem to do anything. T. R. So R is the area of effect one. That does just insane damage. Very cool. Alright, everything dropped on this guy. I'll make sure we get a good screenshot of it later. But that dude is pretty amazing. So there you go. We got two really good dinos today. We got Slither... How do you say it? Slitha, the Celestial Spider. And then we got Ryan's Dodo Reaper. Level 1796. 195 melee and 185 health on that thing. Up to 269 million health. Plus it gets the... The reduction benefit that Reaper gets, which is really, really cool. Can't pick those guys up. But I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Like, comment, subscribe. Huge shout out to the page for making this service possible. Huge shout out to you for checking this video out. If you made it to the end of the video, you're my MVP. I do appreciate you. Sorry for the kind of short video and the kind of just sporadic content this last couple weeks. It's been a, a crazy couple weeks in real life. We're going to try to get back on track. We'll just have to see how this next couple, couple weeks goes. But 